Hey guys, so this is my uh, old setup that I used to to make uh, content, I guess you could say. So I'm using a laptop. Um, it's Asus ROG uh, GL553VB, the type. And it's pretty old. I bought it in 2017, so it's been like five years, and it's pretty good for the five years it served me. But now it's very laggy, and I cannot. Uh, I mean, I can still do some work here, but it's really a pain. So I decided that I want to buy a PC. So I can, yeah, you know, create content much more easier and less stressful, to be honest. Because <laughs> this laptop has like FPS drop every time, um, no matter uh, what application I use. Either it's Photoshop or just recording. So like, you know, you can see. Well, since I don't have anything open right now, it's not... I don't think it's going to be lag. But usually when I was doing my uh, drawings... If I just use a brush, I don't have my Wacom because I don't use it. It's my back. And it's, it's very messy. <laughs> yeah, so let's just say I, I have my Wacom usually here set up. And it's really very cramped. And if, let's say I, I'm, I'm using my mouse. Let's say I'm brush. Uh, I'm, I'm using a brush and let's increase the size so you can see. Let's say I'm just brushing right it. And let's uh, so randomly my laptop will start to like um, lagging. So it's going to freeze. And then one or a couple seconds later it's going to be like that like like i don't know why but it always goes right there like top left so it's it's the, the part it's um uh the effect of the uh, lagginess of the home, uh, laptop so yeah it's very very uh, annoying. So I decided to build uh, to buy a PC, and right now I'm trying to save my old brushes so I can transfer it to my new PC. But yeah, uh, I don't know where my files is. It's looking for. I just saved my old brushes. It's like oh god, I don't even use like most of it. I, I, <laughs> I only use like two or three, <laughs> but you know, you never know when you might use them. <laughs> so yeah, I, I need to start reorganizing my brushes as well because there are many brushes that are duplicate. Like I didn't know when I wasn't that familiar at Photoshop, like I was just beginning and installing brushes. I double click the brushes file and Usually, when you want to install something, they'll they'll uh, show a pop up a window or something. But for Photoshop brushes, it doesn't do that. So if you like double click it and you open it, it's already installed. But I didn't know that, so I double click it a couple of times. <laughs> it's stacking up, and the brushes just uh, is double, tripled. I think I've um, I've deleted some of them, but not all of them because it's very um many yeah i'll reorganize it later but i'll just save everything first so yeah this is my old setup i'm using um what do you call this laptop stand and i need to use this external keyboard because my my laptop keyboard doesn't work like it's 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 broken i don't know why it's been like this for I guess two or three years. I think there's hard. Uh, 
what do you call that? Uh, hardware, hardware issues. Yeah, so I'm just gonna. Oh god, the white's left. Yeah, so maybe you can see better. That's my whole workspace. I like this. Uh, I use it. Yeah, but now that I've bought the computer, well, I don't think I'll be using you guys anymore. Uh, only you though, you and you. But I'm still using you two, three, because you still work, even though. Yeah, you're also pretty old. As long as it works, I don't mind. I don't need to change and buy every time. Like, just to match, uh, what do you call it, the aesthetics of the new PC. It's like, whatever, you have cables, whatever. All right, I'll see you guys when I finish. What the fuck do I want to say? Whatever. Alright, I'll see you guys later. And, uh, new setup. So, I bought the PC, but I didn't build it myself. I had the store employee build it for me. And I came home with a lot of boxes, including the PC. And I had the GeForce RTX 3060 for the graphics card. And since I didn't have the table for the PC, I bought it on IKEA and built it myself. But as you can see, this nail over here is doing a Michael Jackson. It's not uh, straight, uh, and I had to force it, and then eventually that nail is coming down although it's hard as heck i'm afraid it might break but yeah i just forced it and uh yeah it, it goes in but i feel like it's not supposed to be that hard so i attached the poles you can see here the stands and then i flip it up and i was happy even though it's quite wobbly you can adjust the bottom of the legs and then I put my monitor and my PC into it to test it if it's going to hold or not. The next day I unbox my monitor which is uh, Asus ProArt 27 inch monitor and that's a huge upgrade from my laptop which is only 15 inch and I was very satisfied with this monitor. And uh, one thing I really like is you can adjust the monitor easily like going up or down or vertical horizontal or tilted 45 degrees. I really like how easy it is to adjust. And here is my PC. So I didn't have enough time to research about all the parts that I want to buy. I only searched about the CPU, GPU, and RAM. I didn't have time for the motherboard or the casing or any of the other stuff. So I had the store employee like rec recommend stuff for me. And I only want my PC to work at its best, at its highest performance. So I don't really care about the aesthetics or the RGB. I just want it to work properly. Uh, but since the store employee recommends this part and this part, I went along with it. So I turn on my PC for the first time, right? And it's loading, and when it finally came up, it had a no signal screen, and I was panicking. Turns out I just plugged it into the motherboard instead of the graphics card, so I was relieved. But then, I had a blue screen, which... Uh, I had to. F I don't know why. I think it's um, um, driver issues. I went to the BIOS and don't understand a single thing of it. So I just went and reinstalled Windows again. And thankfully, it works till now. So let's see the final setup. <music>
so this is my what my monitor looks like uh, it has a bunch of different settings on the monitor if I click right here it will show different options different menus and it has a bunch of presets but I only use like two of them the standard mode and the sRGB mode the other modes I don't really like it that much and it's um, uh, it's 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 okay I mean it, it's cool to have a bunch of presets maybe other people will use it but I only use the standard and the sRGB mode and they also have um, for graphic designers this uh, preset like the A4 or B5 and you can see that it's like a quick um, a quick way to see your design in an A4 paper they also have an option for alignment or even a ruler which is pretty cool also I forgot to mention that um, I'm using this green screen now uh, I actually set it, set it up yesterday and I've mark the spot where to put it uh it's kind of annoying because it's really close to the chair but it's you, th you you might think this is high enough right but it's not when you when the camera sees it if it's not this close you can see like the it's the the green screen is not covering the background basically so it's it had to be this close and yeah i think that's about it this is not mine this is my sister's uh but she didn't use it so i borrowed it like she like those also my sisters but uh yeah i'm not going to use those because they're bright and i don't think i need more brightness well i guess that's it